At the Federal Reserve, we remain committed to using our tools to do what we can and for as long as it takes to provide some relief and stability, to ensure that the recovery will be as strong as possible, and to limit lasting damage to the economy. The path forward for the economy is extraordinarily uncertain and will depend in large part on our success in keeping the virus in check. Indeed, we have seen some signs in recent weeks that the increase in virus cases and the renewed measures to control it are starting to weigh on economic activity. The Federal Reserve's response to this crisis has been guided by our mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices for the American people, along with our responsibilities to promote the stability of the financial system. We are committed to using our full range of tools to support the economy in this challenging time. We have held our policy rate near zero since mid-March and have stated that we will keep it there until we are confident that the economy has weathered recent events and is on track to achieve our maximum employment and price stability goals. And I think we are seeing the results of the earlier strong fiscal actions. When you see the spending that's happening, when you see small businesses staying in business, even though the economy hasn't fully successfully sustainably reopened yet in, in many places, you are seeing uh, what happens with, with that, 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 that money. And so in, in, a, in a broad sense, it's been well spent. It's kept people in their homes. Congress's action early in the pandemic historically large uh, by, by any standard around the world, and certainly by U.S. standards, it's really helping now. It's really helping. It's going to stand up very well to, to scrutiny down the years. This Congress's very fast and very open-handed response, I think, uh, has really helped. And, and I, I think, um, I know that, uh, as I've said, very likely there more will be needed from, from all of us. And I see Congress negotiating now over, over a new package, and I think that's a good thing.